Okay, hello. Welcome back to another video. Hold on, let me get back in my chair a little bit. Okay, so in today's video, I decided that I was going into Minecraft Hardcore and I was going to make the world's biggest potato farm, but first I had to actually create a, uh, a world, and this potato farm is for Technoblade because of uh, his condition at this current moment. Link to a... Um, a donation will be in the link in the description, first link, second link will be the potato war video, third link will be the video explaining his condition if you do not know, and fourth link will be uh, his channel. So, anyway, sorry I'm going so fast, I'm just commentating over the same thing you're watching right now. So I loaded into the hardcore world, by the way I have already loaded into about five different worlds yesterday, and I was about to give up on this challenge, but today I logged back in and uh, well you see logged in got ready and got straight to work on mining a tree sorry my chair went down so I started mining a tree uh, to get some tools to uh, of course play the game correctly as anyone would and noticed a couple of animals so I decided to craft a axe since it did the same amount of damage as a diamond uh, sword and decided to crit out as many animals as possible to get the meat. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not good at commentating, I'm sorry. So I crit out the first pig, ran over the second pig, critted out, got the, uh, got that sweet meat, killed a chicken, killed a pig, killed another chicken, killed another chicken, oh my god. A sheep, a pig. Another sheep, another sheep, and a sheep. And decided to make my base in the side of a mountain. Now, I am using the Bad Lion client, so I can indeed set waypoints. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of am cheating just a little bit. But this is Minecraft Hardcore Survival, therefore I can't activate any, like, creative mode, and I can't give myself items, as well as, like, respawning or anything. So it's just normal, the only difference is that I have a waypoint, and as you can see in this clip, I died in, like, no time at all. I met my demise in Minecraft Hardcore Survival in the, uh, Amplified version. We are playing on the Amplified world just because of the crazy, uh, difficulty that it adds to the game, and I do plan on playing on Sky Islands only world, eventually. But anyway, I loaded into this new world, made some sticks, made a crafting table, and decided to make another wooden axe, but I ran out of wood, so I had to mine just one block out of this tree. No problem, though. Placed it in the crafting table, and made a, uh, made an axe. I'm sorry about the gameplay, it's a little bit, uh, embarrassing to look at, because I forgot that you needed that one last piece of wood for, uh, for a wooden axe. So I ran over create out another pig of course and uh, started the search for a new house that waypoint that is on the map is the waypoint to my old house the one from the last world I have not deleted the uh, the waypoint yet but I will eventually so I ran upon a uh, what looks like a floating island in this amplified world by the way you can tell it's amplified by the mountains in the background being extremely high and the fact that we're almost in the clouds and this is definitely not a normal minecraft world if you can tell but my first instinct with arriving on this island is i needed to flatten it down and make it into a giant square therefore i could put a house on it okay well that's not my first instinct my first instinct was to maybe flatten it down a little bit and not make it into a giant square but then I had the genius idea of doing that. As you can see here though, I went into the waypoint menu and decided that I was going to delete my old waypoint, or at least try to rename it here, but sadly you can't replace your waypoint, so I just created a completely new waypoint. So I named it home, made it one of my favorite colors, correction, my all time favorite color, and uh, you know, do with that as we can. So after that, uh, I got immediately to work on making a bed, a crafting table, and a furnace, along with stone tools from the mountain just to my right in the video. I went over to that mountain, as you can see there's just a little bit of a hole in the side, cut down the trees on my island, and sped this part up of me flattening down the island. Now at this point I didn't know I was going to make it into a giant square so I could put a house on it, 
but I decided to and it does look extremely ugly although I think I did at least good for day one of uh of Minecraft survival hardcore whatever so anyway I broke this mountain down a little bit uh, I was going to leave my bed up there but I took it down relatively quick and uh <laughs> and just started making the giant square so I decided to bridge over to the mountain so it would be easier for me to get materials from the mountain such as stone now that I had an easy way of transportation to get to the mountain I decided to start building a house working on the stairs got the stairs going pretty well it got a trap door uh, little hole in the other worked on this made a door and uh, basically made it look really good no, day number two, well technically not day number two, just like a few hours later, I decided to hop back onto the uh, the game, loaded back into the world, and decided to work on a little bit more. I am going to jump cut just a little bit to a little bit after I got a little bit of sand and worked on the house a little bit. Sorry, I've said that a lot. I've already noticed that. I've said that a lot. Anyway, worked on the windows a little bit, made the house relatively better made a couple of chests and had the island a complete square along with a little farm to the right. I decided to make the little farm because I thought it wouldn't be a bad idea. Made some bone meal. <laughs> oh Jesus. Tried to uh, make my tree a little bit better and then I figured out I need an easier way down from here. So I just ate a piece of meat and jumped for it and hoped to God that I wouldn't die. Taking a big risk, even though it was only three hearts, I've died so many times in hardcore that I am scared to jump down. Decided to make half slabs, and I didn't really know what I was doing with the roof yet until I had this genius idea of doing a uh, a double slab all the way around. Not a, you know what I mean, like side by side double slab. And then put glass in the middle, and then raise the double slab again and put glass in the middle, raise the double slab, and make a infinite water generator, which you'll see in a minute. So, I decided to go onto the roof and place the cobblestone slabs in a neat pattern, just about like that, and as you can see, two, now look, yeah, okay, so I did a double pattern just like this, around the top completely filling the roof putting a little bit of glass around it and then doing another glass layer putting a infinite water source in the ground now I went to the ocean to get the first bucket of water and, and then I was like thinking hey I have water in my farm so I'm gonna quickly grab that make the infinite water source grab a new bucket of water jump down MLG water put the water back into the farm and then go back to the roof and get more water that way I would have a water bucket just in case I fall off of anywhere and I did upgrade the roof just a little bit on top and that brings us to the end of this video I uh, I, I tried and soon enough we will be building the, um, the potato farm probably directly under the house and we're going to be putting as many potatoes as possible as soon as we can find a village to get the potatoes from anyway goodbye and